Hey, it's Kevin Tofu with JK on the Run, and in today's Mobile Tech Minutes, I just want to talk very briefly about navigation in Windows, particularly Vista. We've got the um, the Flip 3D and Arrow and all those other different ways to navigate now, but I kind of like the uh, the expose function that I have in on my Mac. I press a button, and all of my windows just kind of appear in a jigsaw puzzle-like view. Well, turns out there's a way you can do something very similar in Windows Vista provided you have Arrow enabled. And that is through an application called Switcher. It's a free application. It's really a side hobby of somebody who works over at Microsoft in their document area. And, uh, you know, let's take a look. It's pretty handy. Here is a Vista device with Arrow enabled because that is a requirement for Switcher. And I've got numerous applications running. Um, just I just picked a bunch of things, Skype, Word, my VZ Access Manager, things like that. doesn't really matter what the apps are, but I've also assigned a keystroke command of Windows Spacebar to get Switcher going. I'm going to hit that right now. And what you'll see is the main window has decreased in size and all the background applications that we're running are now showing up in the top here. You can see them right up top. And of course there's a number for each one, so if I want to go to one of them, let's say I'll go to paint, which is number five. I just press five on my keyboard and it brings it to the forefront. Let's go back and you can see paint is showing as the main application when I use switcher. And again, I've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight applications there. I can, instead of using the keyboard, I can just use the mouse. I'm using a trackpad actually. And let's go to boom right there. So you can do that. Now let me go over to Switcher again and show you if you hit the page up and page down, you get three different views you can toggle through. There we go with something very similar to Exposé in Mac. So if I get out of Switcher, come back in, you'll see the windows zoom in, zoom out. Let's go back into Switcher and let's show you the next view, which is just a tiled view. So you can have every application of roughly the same size, easy to view, and easy to get to. Again, I can go to any of the numbers. I can even turn these numbers off if I want. If I don't like the numbers, I don't have to have those on. That's an option. And of course, I can use the mouse to go to any single one of these, just like so. I think I like the, the dock is kind of nice. It shows that first main application in the forefront along with everything else in a dock-like view, but I kind of like the random jigsaw puzzle looking view here, which I guess maybe because it reminds me of Exposé and Mac in any case. It's a uh, personal choice. You've got three different options between, the, between the, uh, the different views. It will always remember the last view. Again, you can customize for adding the numbers or not having the numbers. I kind of like that. You know, I don't have a mouse attached to most of my devices, so I can easily trackpad it, or I can, you know, press a number right on the keyboard. So, all in all, pretty nice. There's quite a few ways you can customize this. You can personalize the key cut, key shortcut to activate switcher. Um, you can customize colors. Again, you can have the numbers or not have the numbers. All in all, it's a nice, handy little way to, you know. An another way, I should say, to, to navigate around through Windows Vista. It is for Vista, as I said. Of course, it doesn't break the functionality of that Vista has natively. The Flip 3D and all that, I still have that. But if you want something kind of like Exposé or a different way to navigate, Switcher is not a bad way to do it, and it's free.